Okay, we are finally ready to take on the sixth gym in the game. We're going to take on the Mistralton gym this time around. Now that we've cleared the Celestial Tower, gotten some tacos, and uh, well, I've even got my new L gym on my team. Hopefully she'll gain some levels. Please take this fresh water. Sure. Um, okay. Just between you and me. Rock, electric, ice, flying kite, yeah, whatever. Uh, you cannons? Cannons? What? Dude, what? What's, what's in here, I wonder? Huh? Woo! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, where am I? What just happened? Did I just get shot out of a cannon? A cannon? Ah! I did, by goodness. Are those even legal? That seems a little dangerous, if you ask me. Getting shot out of a cannon. Wow. So, yeah, you gotta hop in those cannons and you'll be shot all over the gym. What do you think about the cannons? Isn't it great? Well, next, experience the feeling of a Pokemon battle. Yeah, whatever. Cannons? <laughs> well, I do have to say, it is actually a pretty neat effect, um, all things considered. The cannons are pretty fun. It's just, like, if this were, you know, a gym in real life and I had to go into a cannon, I wouldn't get this badge, let's just say. That seems a little dangerous to me. Um, so, as to be expected, pretty much all of the trainers in this gym are going to be using flying-type Pokémon. This means as Cliff, or not Cliff, <laughs> as, uh, Clyde, or whoever the, the entrance guide dude is, as he said, electric, ice, and rock-type attacks are the way to go. I was blown away with two exclamation points! Um, they really are the way to go. If you have one of those ice-type Pokémon, um, you'll... In order to jump higher, I'm practicing really hard. Well, okay. Jump for it. Get yourself some air joys, yo. All right, Worker Brady. Um, but yeah, basically you're going to find that electric-type attacks, like that Charge Beam TM you have, if any of your Pokémon can learn that, hey, great, it'll be valuable against, uh, a lot of the Pokémon in this gym. Now, Ice Beam isn't going to be as effective as you think, because that darn Ducklet, it's part Water-type, too, and for some reason, Ice doesn't work too well against Water, so it's only normal damage. Oh, well. Big deal. Um, let's see. Rock-type attacks are obviously good, too, but don't get too confident there. Because remember, there are those water-type ducklet and swana around. And the problem is, they'll knock out any of your rock-type Pokémon. So that's not good. Woobat! Woobat! Woodat! Woobat! Alright. I'm actually gonna give Wylia here a little bit of a, a chance to prove herself. Go on, my new little catch. Use that charge beam of yours. And miss on the first try. That's a real good showing. Gee, now look what... Ah! Well, I'm not too impressed right now. Is that a tail? I didn't know that thing had a tail. Weird. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just... I don't, I don't even know. Huh. Amnesia. Urgh! See, I just can't handle that. But you know what? I might as well give Wily a bit more experience. Now she'll be getting 75% of the cut. Since she was out in the battle. Yeah, look at that. Big numbers there. <laughs> no problem, even though I just lost. I will jump again. All right, Jumping Jack, get out of here. Um, so here's a cannon here. Let's hop inside and hold our breath. Boom! Whoa! Okay. I have landed. Howdy. I became a pilot, which has been my dream since I was a child. I am extremely strong! Bring it on! I am extremely strong! I love it how they just say that. I'm a pilot, you know, etc. I am extremely strong! <laughs> extremely strong. He's not just strong. He's not just very strong. He's not just powerful. He is extremely strong. This dude, you do not want to mess with this pilot. Wow. I love these lines. It seems like they throw in some of just the craziest lines in there when you're not even expecting it. I am extremely strong! He needs, like, a leash or a label or something. Give him, like, a warning sign five steps away. Caution! Extremely strong trainer in the vicinity. Be on guard. Um, 
he actually isn't really that strong, from what I can tell. I mean, he's okay, but I took him out pretty easily. Altitude dropping, prepare for landing, whatever. You are extremely strong. Then what does that make me? <laughs> I am extremely, extremely strong. Now, you notice what just happened there, right? I wasn't paying attention, and I thought, hey, cool, I should just, you know, go in here. Right? Right? Hey, maybe I should try it again. No, don't do that. You see, you can actually enter this cannon from the bottom there. It's a little hard to see, but you're going to need to do that if you want to get anywhere in this gym. Otherwise, you're going to keep going around in circles. And face it, who wants to do that, huh? You don't want to go around in circles. No. Target lock acquired! I will shoot you down with my flight technique! Oh, jeez! He's going to shoot me down! People in here are so rough! These pilots, they are serious business! Seriously. Hmm, a pheasant! Jeez, you have a big bird, like I do! Except yours has red, feathery things. Mine doesn't. This mine's more awesome. Here go. Hey, come on. Come on. Oh, well, one ice beam and you're toast. Look at that! Oh, I love this! The snow cone. Simple beam. That's weird. Odd move. Simple beam basically, uh, it turns the target's ability into simple, which will double the effectiveness of, oh, how do I even put it? It, it doubles the effectiveness of things that raise or lower that Pokemon's stats in battle, like stat modifiers. So basically, instead of it raising at one stage, it counts as two stages. If it loses that ability again, it'll revert to just the plus one, so it doesn't actually give you the plus two, but it gives you the equivalent of. So it's kind of nice. You can use it um, on opponent Pokemon and then lower their stats to have the effect of that lowering increase, or you can even use it on your own Pokemon if it's in like a double battle or something, and then when it raises its stats, it'll be increased as well. It'll be doubled. So it can be useful, but I just, I didn't need it for this. No, definitely not. You know, I'm not going to be pulling any of those shenanigans around here. No way! Um, hmm, alright, whatever, dude. So many quick work of that guy. Now, there is a bit of a variety of different flying type Pokemon for you to fight here. You're going to be finding a whole bunch. Um, you know, there's Unpheasant, there's Ducklet, there's Swoobat, Sigilith. Um, I'm missing one. There's- Ow! Ow, that really hurt! Jeez! Just smacked me against the wall. Okay, so, boom! Here we are! We are at Skyla, the gym leader! But, I want to go heal my Pokémon first, so you can actually enter that cannon right behind her, and that will take you back to the beginning. So, I just went and I healed my Pokémon, and now I'm gonna zip through these cannons really quick, and I'm gonna go take her on for real this time. If, uh, you're hopelessly lost and confused and didn't get it the first time around, maybe this will show you the exact steps you need to take in order to get there. At double speed, no less. Roughly that. I don't, I don't know, I'm just speeding it up. Um, hmm, so yeah, lots of cannons, lots of cannons, boom, getting dizzy, getting tired, and here's the good one. Ow! Hurts so good. And here we are, the gym leader, Skyla! They're my pride and joy, this time let's try something else. Oh, she's gonna battle me! About time. Okay, Skyla. Now, as to be expected, she uses flying-type Pokémon on her team, just like every other trainer in this gym. I almost always take her out in three turns, no matter what. I've taken her on, like, four times now, and this is my fifth, and it seems like every time she's the easiest gym leader for me. Uh, I don't know why that is. I tend to use Electric-types, and this is my first time actually using an Ice-type. The point is... She isn't too difficult to take out if you have an Electric-type Pokémon. In fact, she's really easy to take out if you have that. If you have an Ice-type Pokémon, they're a little harder to come by, but they also will take her out very quickly. Her levels, as you can see, are not really that impressive, unfortunately. 
So really, she's kind of an underwhelming gym leader. The only time you may run into an issue is with her Swana. And this thing can be a little difficult, particularly if you started with something like Embor and you don't have anything to back it up. Because, you know, like Grass-type Pokémon you may be using with Embor in kind of a combination, they won't work very well, and your Water-types aren't going to work very well. If you have something with Charge Beam, you should be in good shape. I'm going to try to have Wylia do this herself, just to see. I know I could probably take it out with something else. Oh, I didn't quite... 3 hit KO her, but on the bright side, Wylia is only level 30, and I practically just caught her and she's standing on her own against the gym leader's Pokemon. Come on, Wylia, do it! You can do it! A little LGM. Yes! Awesome. Well, I'll take four turns for a victory, particularly if it means letting this little thing do it herself. Okay, well, that was really underwhelming. But she shouldn't be that difficult anyway. Just try to slap Charge Beam on something and you should be in good shape. There's also plenty of good Electric type Pokemon around. You can catch any number of things in the um, in the Charge Stone Cave. Train them up a few levels against like Wild Audino on Route 7 and you should be in great shape to take her on. Wow, hot stuff! With that many gym badges, Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. That made me very happy. I want you to have this TM. Now, this is a great TM. I love this TM. TM62, Acrobatics. It has 55 power, and it's a physical-based flying-type attack. But if you're not holding an item, its power doubles to 110 power. And a lot of different Pokemon can learn Acrobatics, things you wouldn't even expect. So I would strongly recommend seeing if any of your Pokemon can learn it. And slap it on one of them, because it's good. And Whoa! 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 They say it is for our understanding one better than another. Really? Uh, and they... Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever, I'm going to talk to your Pokémon. I've been living with Pokémon since I was born, so it was easier for me to talk to them than with people. Because Pokémon never tell lies. Ah, get away from me! Hey, Vanillish. Hey, Vanillish. How you doing? Would you tell me what kind of a trainer Devin is? Okay, okay, got it. So Devin was born in Nuvatown, lives with Mom, and was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. I do not live with my mom. Still, this vanilla should trust you. If every person in Pokemon cared about one another like you two do, I could watch over the future of people in Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just want to use them. Gets us is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones, the Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These, these stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. I just said that they lost their physical form. Now they await a hero's arrival. I shall resurrect the Dragon-type Pokemon. I will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. Okay. No, no. The vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist the ones that will hurt, well, the foolish Pokemon, innocent Pokemon, Pokemon are not just duels. As a result, Pokemon are trainers who care about one another. Like you and your Pokemon will be separated. And that does break my heart just a little bit. Just a little bit. See ya. Okay. That was very enlightening there. I don't know why you had to to unload your emotional burdens upon me, oh great king of Team Plasma, but whatever. Now, remember when I told you when we first arrived in the Stralton that this dude will give you something after you've after you've gotten the jet badge? After you've earned it. Mixed between earned and gotten. Earned it! Um, go back to that house after you have it and talk to him, and he'll tell you that he hid something on the runway. You can find it in this corner right here, and it's TM40 which contains Aerial Ace, another good flying-type attack that, again, a lot of different Pokémon can learn, not just flying-types. It only has 60 power, but it is physical-based, and it does have perfect accuracy, even against things that would lower or affect your accuracy at all, or your opponents. It's, it's like a, uh, a Swift, if you will. Since a lot of different Pokémon can learn it, even things that can't learn acrobatics, um, definitely see if any of your Pokémon can learn it. You know, you could pop it on there. It would do some good. So, our next destination is technically Twist Mountain. But, I think we're gonna... Well, we're gonna go there, but then we're gonna do a little bit of extra exploration on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White Adventure. <laughs>